Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. Um, we wanted to t discuss uh, an MBNF piece that was released. It's not a new machine, however, it's a new iteration off of an incredible design that they made. This is the LM Perpetual Evo. This time they've redesigned it in a new case metal and a new dial color. What was really cool about when the Evo was released by MBNF is the fact that it sort of took um, MBNF pieces in a different direction than perhaps they originally were. When you have these really, um, th really well thought designs that try to bring to life specific types of attributes, um, like creating watches that look like uh, jellyfish, for example, or um, you know, a lot of the times when you look at those pieces, it's not something that you probably want to go and be active with. The LM Perpetual Evo is basically their take on a sports watch. And um, the fact that they're sort of building it out a little bit more, obviously is listening to the demand of um, what people are looking for when they when they do find MBNF pieces. Um, but also I think is building a, a sort of a different direction for what MBNF can actually create. Um, so if you don't know, the LM Perpetual is MBNF's perpetual calendar that was created in collaboration with Stephen McDonald. This was an extremely revolutionary uh, perpetual calendar. We've done a whole video on this piece, so I encourage you to ch take a look at that. I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can see that. You can also check out our article on our website for this video, and we'll have links to uh, the article and the video for, for the perpetual calendar that they made. But this perpetual calendar that they created was extremely revolutionary and one of the all-time best watches that they've created. It won numerous awards for the things that it, for the, the watch that was created and really became, has become a staple for MBNF and the watches that they've produced. The Evo is basically MBNF's version of a sports watch. The, the way that they describe it is it isn't a sports watch, it's a watch for life. Um, what they did with the LM Perpetual is um, they uh, allow, uh, basically changed the design slightly so that it would be able to, you know, have some water resistance, have some shock resistance. So a couple of things that they did, they added a screw down crown with 80 meters of water resistance. They also added a flex ring shock, shock absorbing, absorbing system, which allows for it to take a little bit of shock. Um, and there's a couple of other things that, did, that they did, like adding a, a rubber strap, um, having Super Lubinova on the dial of this watch. And that really made the LM Perpetual Evo into somewhat of a sports watch that you can enjoy while cycling. Well, in the advertisements that they had for the watch, it was for cycling, it was for running, it was for biking, kayaking, those types of things. So you are able to kind of put the watch through its paces and make sure that and have that watch sort of on the journey, the journey through life that you have, which I think was the concept of, of the, the Evo line of watches. What was insane is that um, when this watch was released, uh, almost tw exactly a year ago, um, the watch uh, sold out in like a matter of hours. Uh, I think it was something like, uh, or excuse me, within a couple of weeks, the, the watch was sold out. The original Evo, let me see if I can get the figures of how many were actually produced. Um, I have the, the, uh, the numbers on our, our, um, on our article, but let me just see if I can quickly grab it. Uh, just from MBNF's website here. Okay, I don't have the, uh, here I go, I have them here. So um, there were a couple of versions. There were a total of 45 watches created. There was a, the Evo with a blue dial, Evo with an orange dial, and Evo with a black dial. All of them had a limited edition run of them. Only 15 were created for each of them. Um, and they sold out within a matter of weeks. So clearly there was some demand for a sports related watch with MBNF. So they have released uh, a new Evo. Uh, a, a perpetual Evo standing for evolution in titanium, which is a new case metal. The other versions of this watch were not produced in titanium. Um, they were all in zirconium. And so they created a watch in titanium. And one of the other things that they did was they have this green C CVD dial um, that has a lot of pop to it, especially when you look at the contrast of this watch. So the watch itself, obviously titanium case, perpetual calendar complications. You can take a look at some of these pictures and videos as I put them up on the screen. Um, the watch itself has a black rubber strap and then you have this really bright green dial, which I think has become almost like a staple for some of the MBNF pieces. This green has been used in some of the LM101s, um, uh, many of the other uh, Legacy Machine 2s, uh, I think I've seen this color in. So this is a kind of a staple color for, for MBNF, um, but then they've now added it to the, the uh, Legacy Machine Perpetual Evo with a titanium case and a green dial. 
Um, it doesn't look, at least on the website, it doesn't show that it is a limited edition piece. Um, they're going to start to be shipped immediately. What was really cool is I got the email from MBNF about this release and they actually described the fact that this, there's going to be some of these available on their eShop. I thought that was an interesting sort of uh, move by them. If you don't know about some history about MBNF, but they really focused on finding retail partners for their watches and convincing them that there is a market for MBNF pieces. And I think now it's pretty obvious that, that MBNF pieces, there is some demand for them. But MBNF has decided to sort of shift focus a little bit here and go towards building out their eShop, which I think is pretty interesting. They're going to be going sort of direct to consumer with it, with these watches, obviously still having relationships with their retail partners, but having the opportunity to buy from the eShop is definitely something a little bit different from the um, sort of founding of, of MBNF. But that is um, a whole different topic in, its, in itself. Uh, I love the MBNF uh, Evo. It's a, it's a one, you're getting one of the best perpetual calendars uh, ever produced, in my opinion. Um, you're getting uh, MBNF design, so you're only going to have a limited uh, run of these watches. Each piece has, has been um, focused on by a watchmaker, and, and every single part of it is to perfection. Um, and the fact that this is a sort of a sports oriented piece, I think, is definitely, you know, looking at people's uh, interests and saying, hey, people love sports watches let's see if we can cater to them in sort of a in an mbnf way where we're delivering fantastic watchmaking in an interesting design um, and i think that's exactly what this this piece certainly uh, certainly does that so a really cool release from mbnf hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about the mbnf evo and seeing some pictures and videos of this watch i encourage you to take a look at our article where we discuss this specific piece but in our article and the the description of this video we'll have links to our coverage of the MBNF, uh, the original release of the MBNF Evo, we'll cover the um, MBNF Perpetual, I'll put in uh, links to um, some of the other, other things that I've mentioned in this video. So I encourage you to go to our website and check out our videos or our articles for each one of our videos. This one in specific will be there. If you are not subscribed to this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button if you like these types of videos. If you want some more content from us, head over to our social medias. You can also listen to our podcast. We release a podcast every single Tuesday, so be sure to check that out. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this piece. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, MBNF obviously is a passion of mine, and so I, I always uh, will cover the, the watches that they have uh, that have released. Um, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for us, it really does help us out with our YouTube analytics. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and until next time.